Hello, I'll say chill, chill, dogs to Rovers. We have our deadline day signing, which happened uh, yesterday. I'm, I, I did decide in the end that I was actually going to put the financial penalty video before the low to tell the video. So today you're watching the fallout from deadline day in a way. Um, we'll kind of look at the window at the end. Of the, obviously, look at everything overall now uh, at the end of the video. But this is about low to tell. Uh, I might, to, to be fair, actually, no, I'm going to do a separate video uh, about the deadline day business, about the January business, sorry, and uh, kind of just throw it all into in, in, into, a, into a summary in a separate video. So this video will just be about Lo Lo Totala. Uh On loan from Hull for the rest of the season, uh, we're going to sort of look into this transfer and look into, into the positives and the, and the kind of weaknesses of the whole thing. But before we get started, guys, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Deadline day is shut. The window is shut. This is our last piece of business. And there we go. So, we're on the road to 3K and half a million views. Let's get there as soon as possible. And for now, let's talk about this. So, Timothy Lodrutala, French-born um, goalkeeper. Obviously, last season spent the rest of, the, of that season for about a month or so at Stevenage. Um, when Stevenage went up to League One. Um, kept three clean sheets, another conceded four goals in seven. Uh, so pretty decent. Stevenage fans have come out saying he's pretty good. Um, looking at the highlights of this guy, he does command his area well. He's a good shot stopper. Um, obviously, with the restrictions for this window, obviously, that's all we can do. Um, if you haven't seen the financial penalty video, go and check it out. Um, but yeah, this guy's a young keeper. He won't be coming back next season because he is highly rated at Hull, uh, as I've reported. Um, but yeah, he's a good young keeper, and um, I think he'd do well. I, I think Timothy will do well. Now, the two points I want to make on this deal is basically what I said during deadline day yesterday. First of all, why have we gone for a goalkeeper when we need a central midfielder? I know Westbrook's coming back around February, March, hopefully, barring any setbacks. But close is out for the rest of the season. And I I, I, I just know close is going to be out for the rest of the season. I, I just have this gut feeling about close being out for the rest of the season now. Uh, Carty will probably be out for a long, long time. I won't be surprised if we sent him back. Um, so unless unless Lewis Jones is injured, why did we sign a goalkeeper when we need a midfielder? I know other people have said defenders, but we've got enough centre-backs and the full-back positions getting stronger fitness-wise. So why... Why did we bring a midfielder? Why did we bring in a goalkeeper? Uh, and that's nothing against Timothy. That's just on decision-making. Uh, like I say, if Lewis Jones is injured, then fair enough. We need a goalkeeper 100%. You know, Lawler being injured is bad enough. But Lewis Jones injured as well. We definitely need a goalkeeper. So if Jones is injured, fair enough. If he isn't injured, we could have just stayed with Bottomley as number two, in my personal opinion. Um, the second is the second thing I kind of want to say about this is uh, were there other people considered? And and to be honest with you, the answer is I don't think so. And the reason why I don't think so is I think this was literally a 24-hour thinking process. I think to bring in a new goalkeeper like Timothy, I think we have probably 24 hours to think about it. Um, I don't think it's been mentioned on the statements by either the manager or the player of how long the interest was, but I, I, I don't think it was that long. I, I for me, I, I've got a good feeling it's not that long. Um, I've no doubt he's a good player. He's, he could be a good player for us, but I don't know how long the interest was in the guy. Because to be fair, with Lawler out for the rest of the season, McCann put out the comments about Lewis Jones and how good he was, and then suddenly we're now signing an, another goalkeeper. So I don't know. Like I said, and. And let's be let's be honest here. He's not here to be back up to Lewis Jones. This guy's here to play games. So either Lewis Jones is injured or there isn't there's a there's a decrease in confidence in Lewis Jones. Or, or something's happened to Lewis Jones, whether it's injury, whether it's fitness, whether it's something else. Something's happened with Lewis Jones. Um and, and I I don't know what yet. Um but like I said, this guy's a good keeper. He's a good shot stopper. He did well at Stevenage on emergency loan for the rest of last season in League Two. Uh, so he does know the level to an extent. And, um, you know, I think he could be a good player. Like I say, he's a young keeper, highly rated at Hull. And, um, yeah, 
uh, welcome to the club, Timothy. Big, big welcome to the club because, um, like I said, the two, the two, um, the two sort of talking points about this deal about why did we sign a goalkeeper and, you know, is it to do with Lewis Jones? That's nothing to do with Timothy. He's got no fault in that, no part in that, or anything like that. Timothy's focus is that he is a good player, and um, and I really hope he does well for the rest of this season. So. Big up to, to Timothy. But yeah, welcome to the club, Timothy. Welcome to Songster Rovers. And I really hope you do well. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go and check out all the other stuff from yesterday. The deadline day, financial penalty video. The um, video going into deadline day. And also all the other stuff as well. I am the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now.